Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with the full tutorial on how to do the right mouse click effect. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting this a bit quicker, but I've just been, you know, quite a bit busy in, uh, with my real life stuff. But um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So, so just in case you guys didn't see it, this is the right mouse click effect. Uh, I'm going to show you, and then what we're going to do is we're going to straight into Sony Vegas and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so that was the uh, right mouse click effect. Um, so let's jump straight in and show you how to do it. So first of all, what you're going to need is to set up. Um, that's how many is it going to be? Seven, eight. Depending how many things you're going to put in your box to choose from. In mine, I think it was around six or seven. So um, you do need a box for these if you're just going to be doing it in Vegas. You can do it in Photoshop if you're good with Photoshop. It's not too difficult to do. But I'm going to show you just the 100% Vegas way how to do it. So I think that's six, so I need to set up um, seven and eight, so eight video tracks. This effect is a little bit um, a bit complicated, but once you've done it, you know, you can set it as different presets, so you only have to do it once. So a bit of work at the beginning, and you've got the effect forever. So what we need to do um, is get in the right mouse click effect. In the description below, you'll find... Um, a link and in there already has like a preset one that I've done for you in regards to I'll show you now it's just here it's just a right click somewhere on YouTube and it brings up the options um, let me just bring it in for you so you can see that you can delete the audio straight away because we won't be needing that like so so as you can see here now if I just make this uh, screen a bit bigger as I click play um, just like this I just right clicked went up and down and then clicked on like print so that's the basis, that's the basic um, template what we're going to be using. So, what you then need to do is a little bit of masking. So, if you need the uh, pro version of Vegas to do this, so if you click on the pan crop button, and what we're going to do is we are going to mask um, around this box. What we're going to do is we're going to mask out the inside of it. So, grab your pencil up here, and if you just Stay, you can see like a middle line here on the video so you just want to go as close as to the text as you possibly can so click there there right to the edge on this one about there you can take your time a bit more there and there and then what I want to do is set the mode to negative so as you can see now we've totally blacked out and that's where we're going to put in our own text so you can close that window down for now um, in fact, what we'll do is I'll just set up another video line. So that's nine video lines. Uh, go down to the bottom and move this one to the second bottom one, what we've just done. And then underneath, what you want to do is go to Media Generators and go to Solid Color and just pick gray for now. Just slap that underneath. And then what you want to do is click on this little uh, petite tool here and simply click the same color up here as the the right click uh, kind of box thing. Oops, no, that's not how you do it. Oh well, for some it managed to do it anyway. So, yeah, so now the whole box is exactly the same, just what we want like that. Uh, the next step, what to do, is to put in your text. So, um, all you need to do is go to insert, text media, and then simply type out exactly what you want. So, I think on my top one, um, I think I put in for do it on capitals form and feed. I think that's what I put in. So shrink that right down. I can't remember what size. Let's just try 26. Um, and I think the font I used was something called Brow Ilia UPC. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Let me have a look. It definitely begin Brow or Brow something. There we go, that one. That's the one I use. Feel free to use your own font. 
Um, then what you do, I'll just close that window down a second. Uh, bom, bom, bom. So. Okay, for some reason it's put the text media. Make sure to click on the top line so your text media goes to the top, like so, on where number one at. So, what you need to then do is just go on it, and what we'll do is we'll set the uh, properties, make sure you've got the color text to black or whatever color you want it. And then, as I, at the moment, you can see that's obviously slightly too large, so I'm going to turn it down to around, uh, take off bold, don't want it bold. Keep going about maybe size 18. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see. Yeah, that looks cool. And then all you need to do is go to placement and simply drag this to. Uh, bum, bum, bum. About there, like so. Then what you want to do is obviously on the, the lower video lines, let me just shrink this a little bit. You want to obviously put maybe five man feed, six man feed you know 360 no scope quad triple whatever you want in this box um, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly put these in and then obviously I'll just speed up the video a little bit so it won't take so long and another tip as well all you can do is if you just click on here hold control and drag that down just click yes just a simple way of uh, creating a copy of the wear like this so in fact I'll just show you one before I go uh, before I speed the video up I mean <laughs> so on here click this button so for this one, let's just say we want it to say five man feed, click that, go to your placement, simply drag it down a tiny bit like so. There we go. So the, all you need to do is go down your lines and um, obviously put in what you want. So I'll just speed this a little bit up. Okay, so there you go. Um, I just left the two bottom ones blank. You feel free to do it like I did in my video. Um, so once you've got that effect that's pretty much the basis of what we're going to be using so at this point you could do a save and you know just have this as a preset and so then you could change them every time just by going into box like that so good idea to save and set it as your right mouse click preset um, next thing to do is to render this part of the video out so if we was to press play now from the start you see it goes down like so Oh, I've set a keyframe there on the triple, don't need to do that. And obviously, um, you know, that looks really nice. So what you want to do is render this part of the video out. And then what you do, I think I've already got a rendered copy of it maybe somewhere. Let me just double check. Uh, video, Sony Vegas clips. Uh, I think it's this one here. So once you've got, once you've rendered that part of the video out. Oh, my cat's fucking scratching me, this silly bitch. Get down. Okay, now try to ruin my tutorials. <laughs> right, so um, you'll be at this stage now where you've rendered this video out and you've got this. Then all you need to do is simply click on the event and crop button, click on mask, and then all you simply need to do is I'd probably suggest actually zooming in first like that is mask around the bit that we've just created. Uh, yeah, I know slightly drawn out process, but like I said, once you've got it. Uh, once you've got it right, then you've got it forever. So there we go. And you can add a bit of feather by going outwards and just putting that to 1% like that. So that looks really nice. Um, once you've got that now, um, it's simply dragging. Oh, have I got a clip to use? Let me have a look. I'll just drag in anything. Um, yeah, that'll do. Dun, dun, dun. Put this underneath. So. Obviously, I've still got these video lines here. You wouldn't have them. You just have this and this video clip here like that. And as you can see now, the video sits perfectly, um, you know, on top of your clip, like so. Um, then you've got the option of obviously bringing the mouse clip in because if you go to the beginning of it, it's just kind of there. Um, so you can go to transitions. Use I don't know any transition you want. I guess go down the effects. Um, which ones did I do? I think. The, for the one bring it in I used new blue motion blur uh, which was it I can't even remember um, I don't know um, maybe f Sorry, quick. Sorry, quick. yeah I think it was this one here for me bottom left to top right so all you need to do is drag to the front of the clip like so so as you see now uh, let me move this over a bit. So as you see now, the the effect would come in like so. 
then you go down your list like that and then you could use another transition straight after that to once you picked your effect I think for the out one I used a uh, new blue twirl was it uh, liquify top right I don't know we'll just grab that baby use any effect you want any transition out so once you've clicked the triple or the quad it would then just fade out with a nice effect like that so that's how to do that and then all you really need to do is just time it to the sync of your shot um, I think actually what I've also got for you guys which I'll put in the description if I go to music uh, montage sound effects um, bum, 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 where is it? mouse click I think that's the one let me just check yep that'll do simply drag that on put it into your clip and all you need to do is simply put the mouse click effect wherever obviously you just go to the part where you know you click on it just before the transition like so there that would work nice so it clicks and then it fades out like that so that looks really nice um, that's pretty much the basics of the right mouse click effect I'm trying to think of anything else just in case I missed it nope I think that's definitely it so um, I hope you guys like this tutorial if you do please give it a thumbs up it always helps and um, yeah if you're a new subscriber uh, please check out my channel uh, I've got a variety of videos on there uh, ranging from all the tutorials Sony Vegas After Effects and stuff like that so thanks for watching guys cheers